small babies, a good way of getting blood tests for small volume tests such as full blood count, CRP, using ease, and belly ribbon. Of course you've got to be worried about using ease, yeah. What do you think says? You happy doing using ease with a heel prick? No, not necessarily. Mm. I've got to be worried about the um, not the electrolytes, potassium specifically. Yeah, you're squeezing a heel, getting capillary blood, the potassium um, sometimes won't come back from the lab because the blood is hemolyzed, you know, on the way from the heel to the bottle to the lab. First of all, I like to make sure that we're thinking about the baby's, um, you know, pain and comfort as our priority. So what is that we're given, sis? Uh, that is a um, sugar solution, which mm-hmm. tastes horrible, but delicious for babies. Indeed. It was 24% sucrose. Nice. That's what they say. Yeah. Know. But here's what we do. We grab the heel. I like to stand in this position that you can see there. And I'm standing obviously on the far side of the baby and reaching across them. You can see I've got some paraffin there on my cleaning swab. Oh, that's a handy technique. Thanks very much. That's what we're here for. Uh, by reaching over the baby means that their near foot, you can see him kicking me there, isn't going to kick the bottle away from them. You get a good outside part of the heel. We use the outside of the heel, there's very poor innervation there, but good rich capillary supply. Thin layer of paraffin as you can see. By grabbing a hold of the leg, making sure the baby themselves is comfortable. You squeeze from the posterior of the calf, and you hand over the plantar there. A firm pressure, click, and you'll stab. Now is the important bit. You see a let go completely and you see that heel really refilling with blood yeah. and then squeeze and you get a mm. big drop like that. What do you think of that? That's a nice nice flow. Nice Not too flow. much squeezing. You got a good good easy flow into the bottle. That's what I'm all about, yeah. A couple drops. And you can see how red the heel is. I guess that's a good sign. It's nice and warm. Um, be more likely to get blood flow, I guess. Good point, yeah. That's a very good point. Fortunately, you can see this wasn't perfect and the baby was quite upset to drop a small bit of blood there onto the sheets. But Coop says makes a good point there. You know, if your heel is nice and red and warm, then you're more likely to get blood flow like this. If you come to a heel that's quite cold and not wearing socks, then you're not going to get blood flow like this. So it's a good idea to warm a glove. You know, use a very warm hand apply some heat to the baby's heel before starting the procedure. I think in a pinch I've seen some nurses as well just using the palm of their hands, just holding the baby's foot for a time seems to work quite well. If you've got the warm hands then yeah you can do that. But as you can see I'm taking my time to let go of the heel, let everything refill before then squeezing and collecting the drops of blood. You want to collect at least a half a mil to do most of these tests like we're talking about. If you want to do things like ferritin or thyroid function tests, you have to do at least a mil. Do you have any other tests you need more blood for? Uh, TFT is notorious. Yeah. I'm needing a whole mil at least. Definitely. And obviously clotting, like you mentioned. Yeah, the clotting tests and the heel prick, you know, can sometimes work, but it's, um, usually we have to get a venous sample. I guess good time to mention trying not to sort of scrape over the actual uh, cut, which could cause a baby a bit of pain. Yes. Call, Try and yeah. scoop a little bit, but not to scrape completely over the uh, the puncture site. Really nice point. If you've got another helper there, it's, it's ideal. So they can be providing the child with comfort, with firm gentle pressure or swaddling, uh, or extra sucrose to help with their suckle reflex. As you can see, you've got a nice amount of blood there in the bottle. Careful not to your... Sorry? Careful not to drop it. <laughs> oh, I've done that, yeah. There we go. One-handed technique. Oh, I've been done this for a while. And give that purple top a nice tip over. Shake. Gentle. Shake. Make sure you're you know, applying some kind of... Either a, a cotton bud with some sellotape holding it on or a plaster like so. Make sure that the, the 
cut isn't going to continue bleeding all over the sheets. That's our newborn or baby heel prick test. He looks very happy. Yay! Thanks very much for your help there, Zez. Oh, anytime. Well done. Yay!